Hello and welcome back. It's me again, your favorite toothless denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. Today's video, I want to start off by saying you're going to fail. Literally, you're going to fail. If you're new to dentures, you're going to fail a lot. You need to get that in your head. You're going to fail a lot. You're going to have to try a bunch of different products to find what works for you. For example, I went through, I can't tell you how many pairs of glasses before I finally got a pair of glasses that are comfortable, that work for me, that serve multiple purposes. I can wear them inside my helmet. They're not bulky or uncomfortable. They don't press on my ear or my head right here. I went through multiple pairs of ear pieces. So for example, these are, these types of earpieces are extremely comfortable. These were made specifically for small ears like mine. I wear these, these are extremely comfortable. They are too comfortable to a point where I forget they're in my ear. I don't forget they're there because they actually block sound as you can see they go in in the ear so they block background sound but I get used to that during the day and then they become comfortable and one falls out and then I have to go looking for it these on the other hand do not go in your ear as you can see there's no earbud on there they sit on your ear they go over the back of your ear they're extremely comfortable they're not tight and they just sit on the outside of your ear right here. The speakers on these are extremely loud. I actually have to turn the speaker down to halfway in order to, I mean my phone, well I don't know where my phone is, I have to turn my phone down to half volume if I'm watching a YouTube video or something because it just, they're so loud. But they don't block your ear as you can see I can still hear everything I need to hear I tried the bone conductive ear pieces that sit right out here and it's supposed to be able to hear through the bones they didn't work for me and after doing some research I found out they don't work for everybody because the simple fact is not everybody has thin enough bones for that sound to to vibrate the bone for you to be able to hear. I have really thick facial bones I'm told so those won't work for me. Uh, so like I said I've tried when I was doing customer care I wore this. This is the world's best headset if you're in a noisy environment. The simple fact is the noise canceling technology is so good in this headset that I could mow my yard while I was talking to a customer and they could not hear the lawnmower. A gas lawnmower, not an electric one. So everything I'm talking about here applies to your dentures. The same exact thing I'm talking about here. You have to be ready to fail to find what works for you. You're going to have lots of failures. You can't just go by, oh I use this product and it works beautiful. Sure it might work great for that person. It might not work for you. I've recommended several types of adhesive that I've used in the beginning. I don't use adhesive now. Uh, but I have recommended adhesives to people and I always told people in the comments, try this one and if it doesn't work, try something else. Because what works for me might not work for you. I've always said that. I've had, I can't count how many people tell me to get these type of ear pods because they work so well. My brother and I were sitting here on the couch last night and I was telling him about these 
and how comfortable they are and how loud they are and how they don't block any background noise I can hear the heater running in the background I can hear the dryer running downstairs of course the entire house is quiet right now they work excellent for phone calls I don't sound like I'm in an echo chamber um, they're fantastic with my GPS. I can actually hear my GPS now when I'm driving or when I'm riding my bike. I can hear the GPS. The point is it took several iterations of, not iterations, that's the wrong word. It would probably fit in this scenario, but it's the wrong word. It took several attempts at buying different earpieces to find something that actually worked for me. What works for me might not work for my brother. So the point I'm trying to make is that we have to be ready to fail. We have to know that we're going to fail a lot. My first year with my dentures I failed a hell of a lot more than I succeeded. I can't tell you how many pairs of glasses I've bought. There's a pair right there. They were great. They were comfortable to wear. This part was too thick. And it pressed. The helmet would press against my ear like this. Press on my head. And I would get headaches. I can't tell you how many... How many different point of view cameras I've bought. I have camera glasses with glasses in the middle. These just sit right here. It's perfect. I don't have to take these glasses off, put on those really thick camera glasses with my prescription lenses in them. This just sits right here on my ear. It's perfect. It just sits there. It's beautiful. And yes, if I take my earbuds out, I can actually hear what the camera says to me, but I don't need to do that either because it's comfortable. With these earbuds in, with these little earbuds in, it presses on the earbud, pushes it further down in my ear, and causes me pain. This camera took me a long time to figure out if it would work for me or not. It took a while to find. I've spent a lot of money on cameras in order to find that one. This camera that I'm using right now is one of my Drift Ghost XL Pro cameras. It's not a DJI, it's not a GoPro, it's not a fancy camera, it's the same cameras I use when I ride my motorcycles, it's the same cameras I use when I cook, it's the same cameras that I've been using for 10 years, long before I ever bought a GoPro or a DJI or started experimenting with point of view cameras and camera glasses and everything else, these were the first cameras I bought. And to this day, they still work better than the rest, in my opinion. The audio comes out more clear. The video comes out nice. They're just better cameras for what I need. Are they the most expensive cameras? No. Are they the best cameras? No. But they are the best for what I need. The point is, sometimes you get lucky, you find a product that just works for you. And then you start experimenting with other products and you end up going back to the product that actually worked for you. I have bought countless, countless cameras trying to find something better, something that works better, something that has better audio, something that has puts out better video, and everything was a trade-off. So yes, the GoPros are, have better stabilization than these cameras. The stabilization is better, so you don't get as much jarring and jerking in the video when I'm riding my motorcycle. Here's the problem. The GoPros overheat, they shut off randomly whenever the hell they want, and sometimes you make an entire video and find out you have no audio. So that video is scrapped. I have never 
had an issue with these cameras. Not once in 10 years have I ever had a single issue, any of those three issues with this camera. The DJI's have horizon leveling. Well, the GoPro 10's do, or 11's do too. 10's and 11's do as well. But the DJI's are fantastic cameras. They don't overheat and you don't lose your audio. The problem with the DJI's is that your audio gets washed out because they don't have enough gain control on there. Their audio is not as good as a GoPro and a GoPro's audio is not as good as, as my Ghost cameras. The audio on these cameras is pristine every single video I make. Perfect. Now, the video quality on the DJI versus this camera, yes, the DJI has better video quality in certain situations like right now. It is cloudy and dark outside so this video may be slightly grainy because the video qual or the yeah the video quality on this camera is not as good as the DJI but it's a trade-off. The DJI batteries last for about 30 minutes maybe 45 this battery on this camera lasts four and a half hours. I can record for four and a half hours straight. I don't have to carry extra batteries when I go out for a ride with these cameras. I do have to carry extra batteries with the GoPros or the DJI's. Which means I have to take the camera off the helmet, change the battery, put the new battery in, put the camera back on the helmet, hope I can remember what I was talking about and then start recording again. These, I never have to do that. I have never yet made a four and a half or five hour video and let the battery die. Now what I have done is I have set this camera out on the porch, turned it straight up, pointing up at the sky and just took a video of the sky for to see how long the battery lasts. I get four and a half to five hours depending on the camera out of a single charge on these cameras. That to me is more important than having the video stabilized so that when, the, when your head turns or when the camera turns the horizon stays perfectly level. I don't like that anyway. If I'm riding my motorcycle I want you to see the lean with me, not just see the bike lean in the, in the camera like this. I don't want you to just see the windshield of the bike lean over like this. That feels too much like a video game. I want you to be on the bike with me and feel the lean. So anyway, sometimes you'll find a product that works for you right off the bat, although you think you're going to find something better and you're going to experiment and you're going to you're going to fail lots of times and you may end up going back to the original product you started with because it worked better than anything else there are going to be times where you're going to try products and you're going to fail and 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 fail until you find something that actually works for you and sometimes when you find something that works for you, you're going to continue that pursuit to, to try to find perfection. You're never going to find it. You're going to have to go back to the product that worked for you. Nothing is going to be perfect. Your dentures will never be 100% perfect. Mine are as close as possible. I don't know if you saw the little transition back at the beginning of the video where I was talking without my teeth and then suddenly I had my teeth in my mouth. I don't know if you noticed that. It was a great transition. You probably missed it, but <laughs> you should go back and check for it because I thought that was perfect. Um, I don't usually do things like that on camera, but I thought it would be good today because it's a pretty serious subject and I wanted to lighten the mood a little bit. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I just want you to know that you are going to you're going to need to understand when you first get your dentures. If you've had your dentures for a while, you know all this already. 
but if you're looking into getting your dentures and you've been watching my videos and I get lots of comments from people saying I just want to thank you I feel like I'm fully prepared now for my dentures no you're not <laughs> no you're not you can prepare as much as you want mentally and from watching videos and watching my first 30 days with videos and you'll think okay I understand the struggle you don't you really don't keep in mind that once you get your dentures that struggle is going to become reality nothing I say no videos that you watch nobody can explain to you what the struggle is you have to experience for yourself and when you do start experiencing that struggle and you start remembering my videos of my first 30 days with dentures then you'll be enlightened and be like shit now I understand what he was talking about now I get it I thought I understood it before because I could kind of picture it in my mind but now that I've got this plastic in my mouth now I understand but until you have this plastic in your mouth you're not going to understand you can prepare as much as possible mentally for the struggle but you will never understand that struggle until you get these plastic things put in your mouth all I can say is that I hope that I give you encouragement I hope that I encourage you not to stop I, I, I want to encourage you to keep going no matter how much it sucks keep pushing forward because by the end of one year you're going to be ecstatic with what you can eat and what you can do and your life in general with dentures you're going to be ecstatic by the end of a year not everybody some people struggle longer than that some people succeed much faster than that but the average set time is about a year learning how to function and eat and do all the things you want to be able to do with your dentures that's about average so just keep that all in mind and do me a favor and please click the subscribe button I know you probably hear this on every channel that you watch I want to explain quickly the importance of clicking the subscribe button number one it doesn't cost you anything it's basically a follow button they just can't use the word follow because somebody else has it subscribing to my channel doesn't cost you a dime what it does is it tells YouTube that you like my videos you like watching my videos and the more people that subscribe the more YouTube pushes my videos out there so that other denture wearers can find the help they need that's all that does clicking the subscribe button hitting the thumbs up button doesn't cost you anything it just tells YouTube that people like my videos and it gets them to promote me more and that's the whole point of this channel I'm helping you you can help me by clicking the subscribe button and the like button which in turn tells YouTube that push my videos out there so that more people can get the help they need you're getting the help you need for free doesn't cost you anything why not just throw me that subscribe button so that YouTube pushes me out there to help more people the more people that come to this channel the bigger this community gets the more answers we will all have I can't answer every single denture question or denture adhesive question or things like that but there are people out there that can give their experience in the comments 
that a lot of people read, I may be able to answer a question, but somebody else might be able to answer your question better. And a lot of people read these comments. I see the back and forth in the comments. I love it. I love the advice people are giving each other in the comments. This isn't just a denture channel. It's a community. Let's keep building that community by clicking the subscribe button, getting YouTube to push the videos out there further to more people, inviting more people into the community so that everybody benefits from helping each other. In the meantime, you could click it now before the video ends. You don't have to wait. <laughs> In the meantime, I hope everybody has an amazing day. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.